everyone. I hope you're feeling okay today. And if you're not feeling okay, I hope you feel better very, very soon. I'm going to do a changing video with my beautiful Beatrix today and do my Sunday discussion. And I was asked by one of my lovely subscribers if I would do a discussion on payment plans for dolls. So I, that is what I'm going to talk about while I'm changing her today. There we go. Let me see if you can see her. I think you're seeing her okay. It's very, very cold here today. It really is. Um, I'm going to change her into this lovely little top that's got Peter Rabbit on it. And he's sitting in a water can and there's a little bird sitting on it hopefully you can see that it's got a little peter pan collar so it's a little onesie and a little pair of pants with feet in and little pink bows and it's got a little ruffles on the bottom i thought that'd go nice with that and then i found this little just a little tiny bolero pale of pink cardigan which i think will go nicely with it just got a little pattern up the top so I'm going to pop her into that for today and as I say have a chat to you about about payment plans now I must admit I haven't got a lot to say about payment plans let's have your hat darling oh dear look at your hair get this baby so trouble with hats, it makes your hair all staticky, doesn't it? Let's just pop your little hat down there. I haven't got a lot of experience of payment plans. And the only experience I had wasn't a very good one. Um, I didn't check thoroughly the terms and conditions of it, which I should have done. Up you come, sweetheart. Take your little cardigan off um, so my advice would be you know payment plans are really good especially if you're like myself and you're on a fixed income if you if you can find a an artist that is happy to do a payment plan then that that works out really fine for you and it makes it easier to buy the dolls that you want obviously the payment plan that i went on i thought that if i had to stop the payment plan at any point i would get a refund except for my de initial deposit but that wasn't the case and i ended up losing a lot of money all the money i'd actually put into it so check with the artist what their terms and conditions are before you decide come on sweetheart to go into a, a, an agreement because that is what it is it's a, a, a an agreement a legally but well they say it's legally binding i'm not so sure about that myself there we come sweetheart um but you know it's kind of a a binding contract with them so you have to be very careful make sure you ask lots and lots of questions before you actually go into it before you start it make sure that you know if your circumstances change which let's face it in life you never know what's going to happen up come darling there you go you never know what's going to happen um and if you are on a limited budget, you know, if you're on a fixed budget, then if something crops up, no matter what it is, whether you're helping somebody else, you know, or... Oh, look at her. <laughs> look at her in her vest. <laughs> I just love this little one. She's so cute. I don't know what the lighting is like today. I hope it's okay. I might just give her a little bit of a powder because she's feeling a little bit dry, aren't you, baby? 
Where's my wet wipes? I just put you off on hold a second. Sorry about that. I just needed to find my powder. I haven't got much of this left. I have to think about getting some more, I think. Um, yeah, do check. I can't remember where I was now, but do check thoroughly before you go into any agreement um, that, you know, if there is a problem, if something turns up, just be very careful because things do tend to come up in life. You need to, you know, help a family member or um, a friend or you have a hospital bill to pay or, oh, you know, anything like that. There's always something cropping up, whether it's a washing machine breaking or something else. You know, life chucks these things at us and we have to be ready to be able to do them so yeah do check thoroughly what the situation would be if you have to stop the uh, the uh, purchase so do be very careful about that okay i mean some artists will refund your money but not many of them do as i understand it so do check that out and I do think it is a good thing if you can do that. If you've got a good relationship with an artist, they will help you out that way. But if it's the first time you're ordering, do check and double check, okay? So they are a good idea, especially if you haven't got the funds immediate. What I prefer to do is to save. I actually save and try and pay for my dolls that way and I and I do think that's a good way to do it different artists in different countries have different rules and regulations so just check things out thoroughly that would be my advice and go to an artist that you're totally confident of and happy with before you enter into anything okay let me just put your little mittens on, darling. There we go. Mummy will have to get some more of that powder, won't she? I mean, there are a lot of um, websites that, um, you know, that sell dolls and you can um, buy, a, buy installments. But please be careful. There are so many scam websites out there now. So make sure you're going to one that's well known. Check with people if they know it um, before you do. Check with as many people as you can. You know, just be very careful because the scams out there are so bad at the moment. I mean, recently on Instagram. Come on, darling. Come on, baby. Oh, she's so cute. Let's pull this down, darling. Recently, um, I had reason to get in contact with Alexandra from Alexandra's Babies because I was on Instagram and uh, an advert came up and it was one of her videos with one of her full-bodied silicone dolls that had been stolen and people were pretending to that you could buy this doll for... I think it was £127 or something ridiculous, a full-bodied silicone. And, I mean, you only need a few people to fall for that, to make quite a bit of money out of it. So be very, very careful and check your sources always. Check, check and double-check. Don't just think, oh, that's a bargain, I've got to have it and I can afford it. Don't do that because, you know, as I say... You can get caught out and you can lose your money. There are so many scams. The, so, the same advert actually came up on my Facebook page um, last week of Alexandra's baby. So be very, very careful. You know, you might be tempted. Oh, that's amazing. I've got to get it. But, you know, please Please be very, very careful. There we go, darling. <laughs> there you go, precious one. I mean, I tend now, because I've had... I've been caught by scams. I've been caught by 
you know earlier on in my uh, dolly hobby career let me just get a little drink of coffee um, earlier on in my dolly career I was caught out myself and I lost an awful lot of money which I really could not afford to lose but you know it's all experience so now I stick with the people that I know that I've been buying from for a long long time and that I know I can trust you know, people that I know, I don't buy randomly anymore. I can't afford to. I mean, I really can't. Because I'm on a fixed income. I'm on a pension. I'm an old age pensioner. And, you know, I can't afford to lose money. And when I went into a payment plan, I lost a lot of money. I really did, you know. So definitely be very very careful i cannot stress that enough you know and if you want to uh, contact someone like myself about whether you can you know trust this website or whatever do let me know or anybody else that's been in the hobby a long time because i'd hate to think that somebody was caught out like this Hope you can, baby. Oh, she's so precious. She's so precious. I mean, I got Beatrix from Alexandra's Babies. And my new baby, which I'm hoping to get at the beginning of next month, is also coming from Alexandra. Now, I've known Alexandra for... Oh, goodness. How long have I known Alexandra? Um... How long have I known her Beatrix? I must have known her 15 years, something like that. A long time. And I totally trust her. You know, I trust her work. And should we do that up or not? No, don't let's do it up because we can't see Peter Rabbit then, can we? We want to see Peter Rabbit. Look at the size of this label. Isn't that ridiculous on such a small cardigan? I'll have to cut that off, won't I? If I do that up, can we still see Peter Rabbit? No, we can't. No, we want to see Peter Rabbit, so we'll leave it undone like that. There we go. Let's take your little fingers out. Mwah. I always check her little fingers are all right. Yeah, I've known Alexandra a long time, and I do trust her. I trust her work. Mwah. And I trust she'll do the best for me, you know? So, yeah, be very careful. And, I mean, Alexandra is on eBay. She sells on eBay. And she also sells um, through her Facebook page, Alexandra's Babies. So, you know, there are things to check out. Let me just get your brush, darling. Just give her hair a brush. I might put a, a bonnet on her today. Yeah, so check, check and double check. I can't say that enough, you know. And go with reputable artists. You might say, they're so expensive. Yes, they are. But look what you get for your money. You get a good doll. You know, I'm not saying all good artists are expensive. Don't get me wrong. Not all good artists are expensive. There are some very good artists out there. Um, I've got babies from Yvonne Etheridge, Perfect Bliss Nursery. Her babies are gorgeous. I mean, I can only say um, people I know here in the UK. So, um, yeah, she's, she is very good. So, you know, um, and I'm hoping to get a baby from her soon too. Right, there's the bonnets. Let's have a look for bonnets and see what we've got in my box here. Yeah, so be very, very careful and, you know, ask somebody. None of us mind you asking. We can kind of help you out. Just looking for a little bonnet that will go with this. Oh, that's pretty. That should go nicely, shouldn't it? A little bit of pink in it. We've got another little one there that's pink and white. 
Sorry, I'm getting distracted, aren't I? I'm terrible. Let's see if this one's too big for you, darling. Um, yeah, none of us mind helping. So if you do need any help, let us know. <laughs> oh, Beatrix. <laughs> You're adorable. I'm going to put this on her because it's got little ears on it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, dear. Forgive me, Beatrix. She just looks so cute. So she's got her little crochet bonnet on. There she is. Hope you can see her okay because she's up against her pale pink blanket. But I think she looks adorable in that. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Where's your doo-doo gone? There's her doo-doo. <laughs> so I hope that makes some sense. I'm I'm sure I'll have to edit this, but, you know, because I was kind of rambling a bit. But, yeah, always make sure of your sources. Always ask someone to help if you're not sure. Okay? And none of us who've been in the hobby, I mean, I've been in the hobby about... 20 years now none of us mind helping you at all but i mean obviously i'm in the uk so i can only give information about artists here i can't give informations about artists anywhere else because i haven't got the experience of them but don't just buy, buy randomly off ebay although some of my friends have done that and got a perfectly good doll I've done that and got rubbish. So, <laughs> you know, be careful and just check, okay? And I hope that's helped. And I hope you enjoyed seeing me change my beautiful Beatrix. She has my heart, this baby. And I uh, love her to bits. I'm going to give her a cuddle now. And I'm going to go and have another drink, I think, and wake up. Speak to you during the week. Have a lovely Sunday. Mwah. Love you ladies and gentlemen.